Hey everybody, Low Jockey here, back at you with another video. Baby, it's Monday. I'm waiting to pick up a load. I feel great. I just did a 34-hour restart at my house. At JB Hunt, you can do that if you know how to do it. The reason I'm even making this video, I wasn't going to make a video about anything. But I'm sitting here waiting to load, and I am, uh, you know, nothing to do. So I decided, hey, this is a good time to straighten up my truck, make up my bed, you know, fluff up the pillows, get it straight. You know, so I go outside. I got a little vacuum down there, a little shop vac. Grab the shop vac. You know, try to straighten up the floor a little bit. It's a little raining, had a little mud in there, some dried up stuff. But, you know, I'm just trying to do something within my time frame that I'm doing things and as I'm putting the stuff back up I hear a truck driver in the distance a couple of trucks away saying oh is that a vacuum you know and I'm like uh yeah and you know he tried to throw a jab at me like I don't get it and then I come back in the truck I keep cleaning I said man you know what this guy just paid me a compliment because he just told me I'm not like everybody else I'm not the typical people you come across and I don't know I don't think that keeping your truck clean is unusual if you can hit me in the comments down there tell me is it is it bad to keep your truck clean or you got to be the stereotypical guy with french fries all over the floor and a whole dashboard full of full of mess I don't I don't know but there's two ways you can take it though you can take it as this guy joking on you or you can take it as a compliment because he's got all the time in the world to clean this truck. He's here just like me. We're going to be here floating for at least two hours, I bet. And, you know, I got I got cleaners, you know. I got I got smell goods for Breezio. You know, can't beat it. So what's, what's the problem? <laughs> I don't get it, man. Anyway, I'm here. Man, I'm looking good. It's, it's all black. That's what happens when the wintertime comes. Like I said start looking good in the winter even everything in the truck looks good i got a stain back here i got a water stain uh i don't know if somebody knows how to get that out let me know i bet if i try to scrub it with some cleaners it'll come out but i had a window leak i made a video about that go back and watch it but anyway guys i want to thank everybody who just subscribed to my channel uh i appreciate it i need some more subscriptions but this is just a quick video just to say hey if you're different, it's good. It's not bad to be different, man. It's actually, oh. I'm gonna try to get that out of the video. Yeah, actually different, yeah. This is, I'll make another video about that, but that's my storage up there. But yeah, man, I'm different, yeah. I make YouTube videos, I drive my truck, I like to keep the floor clean, I like to make it smell good. Uh, yeah, so I don't know, when, when, when did that become a bad thing? When did being clean become bad? I don't know. Let me know. Or maybe I'm just looking too deep into it. But yeah, he tried to throw a quick jab at me. For cleaning. Hmm. Let me just look out the window. <laughs> just to be spiteful. Let me just see if he got anything in the dash. Eh. It don't look too dirty. I can't say that. I was going to be like stereotypical. Nah, his dashboard ain't full of crap, but still, he took a jab at me, you know. Normally, I would say something about that, but we're going to let it go. How many days before Christmas? I don't even know what today is. Don't even care. It's the 16th, so we got, what, 10 days, 9, something like that. Am I making home for Christmas? Yeah. Since I called the shots, I, I picked my own loads. I'm going to make it where I want to make it. That's for sure. I actually see a load that's going to take me right back to my house again. The only problem is, check your reviews. Like when you're going to make a delivery, look up the place you're going, look at the reviews. The people don't lie. A lot of time the reviews are negative, just because nobody puts positive reviews down. But when you see a theme, an overall theme, like saying these people take forever to unload, that kind of holds you up from picking your load. Like I said, I got a load that I could grab and take me. When I say right back to the house, I mean the place they want me to deliver to is literally down the street from my house. The only thing that's keeping me from choosing that load is, I don't know if I'll be able to pick it up on time. It picks up at 2 p.m. And uh, my load starts at 8.30 a.m. to unload. But it's like, 
It's like two hours away on the dead head, so I can't pick it. So we're gonna just wait it out and I'll keep looking at the low board and see if there's something better. But anyway, guys, I'm keeping it clean for the rest of 2019. And in 2020, everybody makes resolutions, but it's time to stop making resolutions. It's time to start doing stuff. So if you want to go, if you want a truck, go get it. You want to go get a new job, go get it. You want to lose weight? Mm -hmm. That's too hard. I don't want to go there. That's too low-hanging fruit. But watch out for all these scammers coming up at the beginning of the year playing on your resolution emotions. If you look at your Facebook, it's probably all kinds of crap coming at you right now. Be careful. Don't just throw your money away. Vet these people out. Look around. They know that people are in a certain emotional state at the end of the year. And you'll see the gym memberships, the people selling uh, medicines that help you lose weight and all these people throwing stuff at you like how to make money fast all these things are gonna be coming at you all you gotta do is look at your Facebook right now you'll see it but just remember fast money ain't always good money you gotta be realistic so like I said when I get to the 90 day mark I'll give you a little bit more of what I'm doing here at JB Hunt and how I'm doing and tell you what I think good money is and and whatever but anyway I think I rambled long enough and I'll see you guys later after I get some more stuff for the vlog but I appreciate the subscriptions can I get five more please thank you goodbye